since it's Christmas time, uh, you have to have a holiday meal, of course. You should, anyway. And uh, one of my favorite things on earth is, uh, in fact, I wait every year for this, is, is uh, roast goose because I'm uh, mostly German and Germans like their roast goose. And so uh, today we have a restaurant north from down from Armonk, which is down in Westchester County, not too far away from here. And uh, I have not sampled your food yet, but I'm sure it's going to be good. We have Steve and Eric here. Yeah. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna show what the stuffing actually is. Now, I'm allergic to celery, so most people would probably add celery to this mixture, but this is a celery-less stuffing that we're gonna show us. Yep, exactly. All right? And you, and you never had goose, right? You ever have goose? Do you ever have goose? Uh, I don't believe I have. Well, I'm telling you, First I, I think you'll like it. Burn. Better late than never. Now, yeah. only one person here will know if I screw it up, so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's I'll awesome. It. So, this is our goose. It's a local New York State bird. Can I ask, yeah. sorry, can I ask you where you got it from? It's uh, from an upstate farm um, upstate in uh, meaning, a, a little further than here, Columbia County. Columbia County. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a goose, about 11 pounds. We uh, take the wings off mm -hmm. and the legs. I actually take the legs off and uh, cook them separately. Goose, like any other bird, the legs kind of cook differently than, uh, than say your uh, your breast does. So we take the legs off. Hopefully don't cut my hand off. Well, the cool thing about Restaurant North is we all use local farms at the restaurant. Yeah, that's and great. That's our big thing. So that's everything on the table this afternoon or this Christmas dinner is uh, is all Hudson Valley produce. I love that. And local food is what it's all about these days. It's gotta be, you know, it's the way our grandparents did it and, and it just was the norm and, and it's fresher, healthier, and more beautiful. Yeah, who needs who needs uh, California, uh, the, the trucked in food when you can exactly. have the local yeah. food? The less carbon footprint, the better That's for right. everybody. I live in California. <laughs> well, you can eat in California too. Just don't eat it here from California. with everything you say. Okay. So much fat on the goose, so what we like to do is heat the pan down and render the bird but as a whole, kind of drain the fat, get it golden brown, roll it in the cast iron pan, and then when that's all set and ready to go in the oven, we take the celery less stuffing, and we stuff the goose. Mm -hmm. Who would like to stuff the goose? Come on, Shelby. I'm doing it. Are you a cook? I'm going in. Go on, go ahead, go all the way. Don't be afraid. Am I gonna touch this? Yeah. There you go. So you push it in as far as you, it's like all the way in. It's, it's, all the way. Yeah. Cool. Then you stuff the bird all the way to the end of the cavity, just like so. And then we roast it for about 35 minutes at 400 degrees. And what, what are the ingredients of the stuffing? Celery less, but it's, right. it's a really, really simple uh, brioche dough, uh, brioche bread that we cut into cubes and then toast. And then it's a little bit of chicken broth, a little bit of local apple cider, onions and apple. Okay, so That's really is simple. Super simple, four ingredients, just kind of brings the fall together and the winter together. That's awesome. Thanks. Cool, rock and roll. That's what you got. That's your goose. We got a little bit of braised red cabbage with local pears, some crispy fried potatoes, kabocha squash soup, and some agridolce Hubbard squash. It's all fantastic. Okay, uh, should I show the watermelon? Let me show this watermelon. No, no, this thing's heavy. Christ almighty, it's heavy. It weighs about 30 pounds. <laughs> uh, so one of the desserts, we just thought about this, since we grew this in the garden, uh, I think we should eat this. That's a pretty nice watermelon, don't you guys think? So we're going, we'll, be, we'll be sampling this as well, okay? Keep it local, keep it in the house. I wanted to do a Christmas album that would stand alone as an album. It wasn't just a collection of the usual cast of character songs uh, done in this tongue-in-cheek manner. You know, I, I uh, have a background in, in gospel music and soul music, as everybody knows. So I wanted to treat it like that. You know, I wanted to do Christmas-oriented songs in a sincere way, as opposed to Santa Claus is Coming to Town, the Phil Spector thing, you know, which is uh, all well and good. But, um, you know, I was doing, uh, uh, taking songs that I thought were really uh, from the heart and trying to bring the, the, the true uh, uh, spiritual side of Christmas into it. And uh, uh, without trying to preach to anybody, but, but to pull that off. December is 
cold Feel like that time of the year Ooh, when it's chill in my bones Got me thinking of home Oh, everyone I Yeah.